Jack here, and I've got with me the Civivi Elementum and the Civivi Elementum 2. It's my goal in this video to help you decide which one is right for you. Now, these knives are very comparable, and they're both very nice knives. There are a few key differences, though. This first knife, the original Civivi Elementum, features a ceramic bearing, a D2 steel blade, and a liner lock. Now, both of these knives also feature G10 panels. The second edition CVV Elementum features the same ceramic bearing. You can see the little slot for that is a little smaller, though, to make room for this new button lock design. So that's the biggest change here between the CVV Elementum and the CVV Elementum 2, as you can see that liner lock. Now, one thing to note, the addition of the button lock on the CVV Elementum 2 does increase the width of the handle a little bit, but I think they've made up for that pretty well, because if you look closely, you can see that the recessed pocket clip on the CVV Elementum 2 on the right here ends up almost being the exact same width at the clip as the CVV Elementum 1. So it's pretty close, and really I don't think that's make or break. If you're someone who really enjoys fidgeting with their knives, the button lock is definitely the way to go. This is such a smooth opening knife, and it's a lot of fun to play with. I've been fidgeting with this pretty consistently since I got it, and that button lock really does make it quite enjoyable. Now, if that's not something that concerns you and you're perfectly okay having a regular frame lock knife, this is still a very quality, smooth opening knife with a very easy to close frame lock. So regardless of which one you choose, you're getting a nice knife. One other note is that the Civivi Elementum 2 does have Nitro V steel on the blade, which they say gives you a little more durability and corrosion resistance over the original Elementum's D2 blade. One other thing to note is that if you're left-handed, activating this button lock might be more challenging than using a knife with a typical frame lock, as you kind of have to get around and use it with your index finger, which I think is still doable. I haven't practiced it, so I'm a little sloppy, but just keep that in mind. It might be a little easier for you just to use the regular frame lock design, but it's up to you. All things considered, I think these are both really great knives and it's really just up to you if you prefer the button lock or the liner lock. For me, my preference has to be the one with the button lock, the Elementum 2, just because it's so much fun to flip open and close. Anyway, I hope that informed your purchase decision. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.